on my phone. What's up, everybody? We are here. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Shout out to everybody. How you guys doing? Welcome to another Monday Night Live. Uh, this is a very special, exciting one for uh, for half of us here. <laughs> sitting at the table <laughs> um, also we want to start off with thanking everybody uh, all the supporters of the channel all of our members uh, we just got uh, we just got a new uh, new member thanks for the support Jeffrey Santo Sean Byrne as always in here Joe Pike also uh, Steve Frazier Dom W Sh Sh uh, Jay Stew I think Dizon's in there somewhere some of the Marios are in here Fort Key um yeah, you guys all rock. We're stoked for you guys. Uh, did everybody get a chance to check out the, uh, what was it? What did we do? The World Cup? Yeah. Yeah. I think that was this. this that was that's it. That was what, that's what I'm talking about? The World Cup. That was a big one. Yeah. Yeah, that was um, that was a fun one. Yeah, congrats. <laughs> Ryan Crush it out there. Thank Dominated. You, thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody out there um, in... Uh, Golden in Barrel, the, yeah, Golden Barrel. I tournament got, MVP. Yeah, I got the, the finals MVP. Finals MVP, Golden Sheesh. Barrel, and yeah, I just I handling. In. Well, actually, still got it. Yeah, it was um, it was either that or I would have had to possibly eat a eat a egg. So thousand I thousand dollar egg, yeah, thousand, yeah. thousand year old egg. That's so what I did it for you. That's what I. That's what I was really playing for. Yeah, to make yeah. sure I didn't have to eat that. Yeah. Um, and, but that's uh, still going on, so that's going to be next week. I, I I need to fully recover from the event. We just arrived today. We just got home today, so we we don't have um we don't have the egg yet. Because actually, uh, I was looking up how to get it, but I don't really know how to even find it. Like if you Google where can I get a thousand year old egg, it t takes you to like Amazon. So. I think uh, Dizon sent me a bunch of places you could get it in oh, San Diego. Oh, so, in San Diego. Yeah, All right, yeah. so we'll have to get Dizon to uh to shout that one out. Uh, yeah, this is. Sean, this is the this is the barrel right here, Top Gun World Cup. Um, what threading? Spider threading? Yeah, yeah, this is yeah spiders. I think spider is cock, has cocker threads. Does it? Yeah, yeah. That makes I think sense. the only guys that really have different uh, barrel threads right now is the Lux has a different barrel thread. And I was kind of thinking about that, like why? But it's kind of genius. Yeah. You know why? Because that means that everybody who has a Lux, they only shoot the, the smart parts barrel. Freak mm, barrel. Yeah. That's all you can get. Yeah. Right? You can only get the iterations of a freak barrel. So you're always like for instance for instance, you know how like Planet Eclipse doesn't want you guys shooting any other barrel? Mm -hmm. Like they, like if Kyle were to win this, Planet Eclipse would say you can't use this barrel. Right? Um and uh but it's genius because Planet Eclipse should just change their threading and that way no one else would It's kinda like what Apple does with Yeah, like exactly. Their, yeah. yeah. Like you, you can't buy. use you gotta buy an iPhone charger. Yeah, yeah. Like that's it. You can't yeah. use anybody else's charger. Yeah. Tough shit. And yeah. then when they change their charger, you gotta buy the new you gotta, charger. Yep, you gotta buy the new charger. So so uh, very similar. So I thought that was I thought that was I was thinking about it too and I was like, why would they do that? And then I kinda realized because Angel, WDP used to have a different barrel too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there are, does Die make that? Someone just put that in there. Does so Die Die makes um they make like an all gold barrel when <coughs> someone like from Russians or okay or uh, X Factor uses right, die you? barrels and I believe rotors as well. Right, right. So right. they make they they can't use the carbon barrels as well. So right, they make yeah. Them, you uh, have a die sponsor, a yeah. specific sponsorship. Yeah. Oh, okay, so then yeah, I see. Um. So yeah, maybe I'll have to have a golden Aculoc barrel kit made. Yeah. Um, there you go. Joe Pike, I told you the iPhone 12 is garbage. I said that. I was. I said it. I said it the day I got it. The day it came out. Um, but uh, but yeah, I got this. I got a couple of those MVP trophies. Um, so again, it was a it was a pretty special special weekend. Uh, not having Alex and Yosh there, mm -hmm. I had to uh, to be more responsible. Yeah. Than normal. Yeah. <laughs> Just in the center quarterback and everything. Yeah. Um, and you guys, you guys did well. I mean, it, considering you lost your first match to Infamous, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah. How about Infamous? They, they blow it every time. Didn't they win their first event, their first match last year and then went one and three? Should I close one of these? Yeah, maybe. Looks like I got there we go. new tattoo on my face. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, they, so that, you know, nothing against Infamous, but that, our first match to our pits were kind of in shambles we that's right you, i meant to say that when we were up in the booth yeah you posted on your on your story it was like hey does anybody want to help us in the pits yeah yeah so and uh vg who was helping us out he got us a bunch of uh, south american guys coming came mm -hmm. in there and 
um, is a little bit, a little bit of cha uh, chaos, you know, not to make excuses, obviously, you know, right. we can, should be able to overcome that, but, um, and we just, you know, weren't executing, um, some things that we were doing, our strategy, and it, it showed, and Infamous, you know, came in there looking strong, but then, you know, obviously lost a game that they probably shouldn't have lost to Energy Elite, and then we had a crazy game against that damage. That damage game was to, insane. Yeah, and, like, Nas and I were, were exhausted dying, I remember, like, those last because we won like really funny, yeah. three, uh, two or three points like to come back within like a, a minute and forty or something like that, and then going into overtime, I, I remember Mouse like Mouse is in one side of the pit, on his knees, I'm on the other side, and we're like, just super gassed, and then thinking like I right, I need to sit one, and then that you know thirty fifty seconds would come, and we're like all right we're we're good yeah. we'll get back out there, the adrenaline mean, yeah, takes over. Mouse Mouse was Mouse was gassed it yeah. was so funny because if you watch the webcast i meant to send you a video of it a picture of it um but it was like one, one of the last points you guys scored when mouse and a rod were the last two guys to close it out and mouse yeah. ran over to the 50 snake and a rod went up the middle like they were both running what would look to me very equal distances yeah and like putting exerting the same amount of energy yeah and it, it cut back to the pit and it was mouse like this he was like i think it was on the the one where we right. fixed it at like three seconds and then and then it pans over to a rod and a rod just like this <laughs> <laughs> well, Mouse really had funny. like Mouse had like, I think those last three points that tie the game. He just ran down the field, and shot like almost yeah. everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then that, yeah, it was like we had one minute to score two points, and we ended up, you know, crushing it and, and scored that last point to tie it up with five seconds left. Mm -hmm. um, and and damage was looking really good all, all tournament. You know, super I'll, strong. I'll tell you what, dude. Um, and. and I'm kind of glad that we played X Factor over Damage. To be, yeah. To be completely honest, yeah, like yeah. I feel, I feel like uh, X Factor was was weaker on the the Dorito side, uh -huh. and Damage had all 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 three fronts really really yeah. down. Yeah. You know what I mean, um, and that's kind of what we exploited. And that's yeah. Kind of, that's kind of that we because we developed that one play that like I was telling you before uh, earlier. Yeah. Um, where we put three guys on that uh, Dorito side and just kind of held off our Snake side. Yeah. We were getting shot going out wide on the Snake. And, uh, you know, we weren't making it out there. And when we did, it was like we were struggling to get in the snake yeah. consistently. Like, yeah. when we got in there, we were money. Yeah. Arturo, Scott, and uh, Mikey played really well yeah. this event. Um, and, no, that was but, something, too, yeah. even, like, playing you guys. Like, Mouse and I knew we had to try to get to work around the yeah. snake side. And then every time we're, like, looking to go out there, I'm like, God, which where Dorito are they across shooting this way? And, like, <laughs> I see it. I have to worry about it. I'm like, it's such a thorn in our side, too. Yeah. Even, like, one of those... Last points where we were trying to come back, like Trevor ran through the middle, and I knew, I think it was Blake in the Dorito too, and I'm like, no, Trevor, so I tried to follow him up. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> so when I got the penalty, actually, um, Blake had shot both of us, so I'm like mm -hmm. seeing Trevor go, I'm like, no, Blake's there, so I like yeah, try yeah. to go that, to that, protect him. That but inside Dor that inside Dorito yeah. one, right past the can, yeah, that could, could lock down that whole yeah. Side. Which reminds me, actually, uh, uh, for those of you guys BKI members or anybody who's thinking about joining the BKI program. I know that uh, we talk about BKI, obviously, is, is one of the main focal points of this show, and that's kind of what drives the show. But um, one of the perks of being a BKI member is you get the pro, uh, you get Dynasty's playbook at the end of the event. Nice. So this is going to be, this one is actually, you know, it's it's valuable. Yeah, for sure. So now you're going to know what we're talking about. Yeah. But um, uh, as part of the World Cup breakdown kind of uh, uh, massive event that we have of, the, of each event breakdown, so we'll give you weekend one, uh, breakdown was kind of what our preliminary thoughts are weekend two breakdown you get some game plans you get uh after we practice it and then you're gonna get a, you know a, a playbook of whatever four or five plays from us pros and then after the event we get the dynasty playbook so you can kind of see what works and what didn't and yeah and uh and we ended up like we came up with the play that three guys on the drill side one up the center and one that just the can only yeah yeah we kind of like we're kicking around the idea based on what you guys showed us in practice where mm -hmm. you guys are two guys up the middle yeah I hate that. Like, yeah, I absolutely. I'm like the the biggest uh, uh, advocate against putting two guys in the middle because mm -hmm. it leaves you really weak on one side. Oh yeah, you, you know have I mean? those other body. three guys have to yeah. be um, playing perfect. So what I what I like though about what we did is we we did a big punch. So we put the extra body on that Dorito side, and it actually ended up working out really well. Uh, yeah. against them in against uh, X Factor as our final final play was I yeah think was that play yeah and. Um, the way it worked out like that is because we lost both. We lost Dalton and uh, um, uh, Blake. Oh. Dalton and Blake, and, oh, then yeah. I, and then I, I shot LJ. 
But once they shot the two guys off that Dorito side, most times you're like, cool, that's two kills really quickly. And then you start to play a little loose around the tape. And then Tyler came in and, and, and got those extra kills. Yeah, yeah, it was um, a wild game. So, yeah, you, you're not expecting there to be the third body over yeah. there a lot of the times. It's, that's all, it's also kind of why, what uh, some of our mentality is, like, going into the snake. I, I you know, still constantly, uh, Mikey especially, is learning a lot of this stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, one of the things I told him is, like, if you're behind your snake guy and we're wrapping around the 50 and we trade out with somebody, don't go into the middle. Yeah. Give him the real estate back. Like, yeah. Immediately come around that 50 again because yeah. most of the time those guys when someone inside. walks off, uh, the guys are like, that guy's dead. And then if you're if you're right in the snake right behind him, that's how, I mean, you know, yeah, right? Yeah. So like if you're the first one in or you're behind Mouse and he yeah. dies, you go right in there and pop up at the same exact spot. Yep. Those guys are not expecting to be pretty much two of you guys. Exactly, yeah. And, you know, Shout out to uh, Rainy. I mean, Rainy Dude. brought them back into the game. I feel like you know he with like three, three, four points, and he just getting super crafty on that snake side. Yeah, um, that, I think you know, big uh, props to him. You know, he was their their you know, X factor. They, they yeah, saved, he he saved those points. You know, he was. Yeah, uh, uh, um, yeah. Rainy definitely. Rainy definitely was the was the star. Was the other contender for the MVP. Sure. Depending on who won that, yeah. that last that last point, I'm actually glad that it went the way it did in that final overtime point because I got into that 50 snake. Um, I actually broke all the paint in my loader when I dove across. Oh wow, dude! I, I dove in. No one knew I was in that 50 snake, and I came up, and I could see from from the you know the 50 snake looking inside. You can see the Dorito corner. Yeah. I could see Jesse Stevens' whole entire body, and I was about to shoot it, and then LJ kind of like reshuffles out of that little temple so i shoot two balls at lj yeah those are the first two the only two that went straight and both of them hit him yeah he's like oh and then i lean over to go shoot jesse and i start shooting my gun and you know when you see the paint starts doing this yeah and you can actually see the balls coming out and they're actually their balls are yellow yeah, there's so much yeah. paint on them yeah that they're yellow and i was shooting and i go no oh, man. and i saw jesse's entire body but what it did was it forced uh rainy to come bunker me mm. which was huge because it's like the queen's gambit right? yeah like, yeah like i got the kill across the field and then rainy came and bunkered me so you got two bodies and then so i got two bodies yeah. and we got rainy off the field yep right and then and then it, i mean it was a two on three so we still yeah we're down on that but we had tyler and marcello so yeah who played great as well yeah too. yeah um yeah so a lot uh, of injuries this event too i know i know i can't believe archie got hurt who else Archie got hurt. Archie, um, it looked like Brad was maybe hurt in the final match. I don't, I don't know, but yeah, well, uh, Brad's yeah. always hurt when, uh, the, when the team starts going down. TJ Danner from AC Dallas, he didn't play. He was, yeah, he, he, I think he could have played, but he didn't because he didn't want to. So I actually, I, had, I did talk to him. Yeah, I talked to him because it's the same knee injury that TJ's had the whole time. Um, but I guess like the first when he when he first injured it, uh, he thought it was just a deep bruise. Yeah. And the doctors were like, yeah, yeah, you're you're you know you can just stay off it for a little while and you're yeah. fine. But I guess then he was like, man, it still really hurts and this is really bugging me. And uh, and apparently he had some tears in his patella tendon or something like that. And so they found that out. And mm. he's like, oh, you definitely shouldn't be playing. Yeah. So rather play the whole next season then. And then Brandon. Yeah. Pat uh, Craft. Um, oh, that's right, Pat Craft. Yeah, Brandon dislocated his shoulder which is an injury that he uh keeps having um but you know shout out to him he popped that thing back in i can't Uh, believe he played the match mouse over through the for the rest of the ironman match to the dorito side and i just played the one on the snake side mostly and then he he was like i'm good for the next match and we're like are you sure like he's like yeah i'm fine which is a great confidence boost to the team for sure you know Dave's obviously like I, I don't want to I don't want to be to blame like for putting you in but uh, Brandon had complete confidence and um, so I think that he's gonna have a little time that thing's gonna be sore for a little Dude, bit and, I, and doing I, that's I, I feel bad for him because he's constantly getting those uh, those types of injuries something's yeah. always always breaking bruising yeah and especially for exploding for what he's been playing so consistent uh-huh really uh-huh. good so yeah, he, was, he was definitely your because well, I, I didn't think he was gonna play yeah against us yeah um so i was like wondering who they're gonna put over there and it was gonna be mouse yeah, yeah. which still would have been a, a pain in the ass to deal with but yeah then you would have had to, you and mouse would have to play every single point yeah which yeah. would have been a bonus for us yeah right yeah um so obviously some strategy that goes into all that uh that stuff out there um uh, and then, so someone was asking what happened to Archie. I think he, 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 he rolled his ankle, rolled his ankle. Like, like he rolled walking, his, off walking off the field. Walking off the field. Yeah, and like a, a pile of paint, he said. Yeah, something, yeah. That sucks. 
what a what a lousy way to go huh? yeah and he kept thinking he was going to be able to play because i think that happened on like day two and then day three he was like uh i still might you know take care of it and then he's uh, like i probably be he i think he was geared up for a little he, bit on he, sunday he was i saw i saw him geared up yeah but like it's not worth it it you know and i think we talked about dealing with injuries right back yeah. back in the day or a couple episodes ago um like get yourself get yourself healed up i, I it's really it's it, you want to win these events but um even when we were facing relegation that one year I kind of geared my, I geared up, but I was like, dude, it's not. I think I was talking to Bart. I'm like, dude, it's not worth it. Yeah. Like, I, and we got relegated. So mm-hmm. I, I mean, that sucked. Is that's about that's as bad as it gets. Yeah. Really. You know, that's that is as bad as it gets to get relegated. But we still, um, uh, still kind of went on with it. Yeah. But um. Yeah, four K. I was playing the can a lot because, like, we're talking about Brand- Brandon was doing uh, so well on the Dorito side, and we had. Uh, Mouse was doing doing really well out on the snake side, and it was it was pretty hard to get to a lot of those snake bunkers. It was so we were like, I mean, Mouse is arguably the fastest guy in the league, so we're like he's probably gonna have the highest probability of making it to those spots. So let's send Mouse, and I was doing a um, really good job of of switching mm-hmm. whether the snake side or shooting the Dorito side, and I was really dialing in the shot uh-huh. across from the Dorito side. Um, so we just kind of kind of stuck with that i mean it was a little tough missing you know um some of the the core guys because put me into a yeah position that i haven't played you know i can play it but you know maybe someone can do it slightly better but um well not only that it's not that someone might be able to do it better but you're taking your number your your a game is now being placed not in the position that you can do the best Mm -hmm. you know it's Mm -hmm. like we always talk about we've talked about that before too it's like yeah, I can play anywhere, where, wherever you need me. Yeah. Where am I going to be the best? In the front over on the snake side. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure that you would have wished to. I mean, I, I'm i certain that you guys probably would have done possibly a little bit better mm-hmm. had you guys chanced it on the outsides a little bit more. Yeah. But yeah. the fact is, who's going to play that that can? Yeah. Right? Because you had all the positions filled. You just didn't have the depth that mm-hmm. you needed, mm-hmm. right? Um, and so, so, yeah, it's not like you can't do the job. It's more that you... Yeah, where's that light coming from? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's reflecting off of this. Oh, right there. I see it. The glare's coming off the off that. Oh, okay. That's a that's a strong glare we yeah. have there. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So as everybody's as everybody's in here, we we got a lot of people streaming right now uh, on here. So I want to thank everybody uh, for joining in. We got a bunch of giveaways too. I still have some of these these barrel rings. I'm going to be giving away a uh, Dynasty 20 year anniversary uh, shirt. Yep, these are pretty cool. It's uh, it's got all of our wins on the back, minus the last one. So it's a little outdated, but it's it's a really cool shirt. It was actually made for our 20 year uh, anniversary clinic. Uh, then also um, do a mem- members only sticker pack giveaway right here. So this will go this will go to somebody in the chat. Uh, this will go to a member right here. Also, just so you guys are all aware and how the membership stuff goes. If you become a member of the channel on any three of the tiers, there's a thank you for the support tier. Uh, then there's a discounted merch perk, which gets you uh, discount codes at some of our sponsors, friends, and uh, and other supporting industries. Right now, you can, there's a 10% off code for uh, HK Army. There's a 10% off code for Field One. We're gonna get one from Push. I think we're still working on from Carbon. And uh, there's also a 10 or 20% off code for this. Uh, sustainably sourced sandals wow. say that three times fast yeah. sustainably sourced sandals uh made out of uh uh old tires and things like that actually oliver introduced me they're made, made from bali yeah uh and then also and then there's also the super mega support status perk which you get a uh, signed poster from kyle and i i'm actually going to ship one out to one of our newer members mr weberton These things are sweet they look good. Um, yeah, the posters came out really, really, really nice. And uh, we're going to make another one And uh, for some of you other guys who are just joining in. And then at the end of every month, we give away one really cool mega prize. So uh, last month's giveaway uh, went to Tubba Rock. So I'm going to see him at Capital Edge this weekend. I'm going to bring that jacket. It was a G2 jacket. And this month, at the end of the month, we're going to give away the Aculoc Light Barrel Kit to somebody courtesy of Field One Paintball. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a great way to support us. Also get entered into members only giveaways. I'm not going to give away this barrel, but we do have these dynasty barrel rings, or I guess you can kind of wear it wherever you want. Finger rings. Finger rings. 
little rubber rubber ones. If any of you guys are getting married and you would like uh, a dynasty ring to put on your on your left fa- left finger, we might be able to accommodate you guys. <laughs> I think this is gonna be my ring when I marry Camille. Yeah, that, Here that's you go, babe. Will you yeah. just give me this? Yeah. <laughs> Wear it at the tournament so you don't lose it. <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, that's what that's what uh, that's what you get. Also, as you can see on the live chat on the right, you can see the guys that are in green. Those are the supporters. They get the cool little emojis that I make special for each uh, week. This week's special emoji is a uh, trophy. I would have made a couple more, but I was strapped for time out here. <laughs> Um, also, uh, speaking of guys who support the show and support everything, uh, 20 year force went on sale. Only 20 of them made in the entire world. And I know that Joe, you got one. I know Dizon got one, uh, Steve Segovia, all three of you guys are our regulars on the show. So thank you guys for your support. I'm stoked. They look insane. Yeah. Dizon, I might, uh, I might get an Oculoc all gold barrel. I'm not really like into that though. That's not, I'm not that guy like i don't mm-hmm. really do that you yeah know? i don't know i'm not gonna make like a shirt that has a bunch of the little tally marks that has the kills all over yeah, it and yeah, stuff. But, yeah you know i just that's a little too much too over the top for me yeah right this thing but i don't know if you guys really want to want a gold aculock barrel system i'll i'll see what yosh and alex have to say about that but, but right now i think i'm gonna have to start charging archie royalties for his barrel sales oh yeah the current barrel guy. yeah yeah true <laughs> there's a lot of uh questions coming in here about yeah. uh World Cup. I mean, the first one, uh, Jeremy Hazelwood, um, was talking about you in particular. But every time I think of come back, I talk myself out of it. But your performance this weekend takes me back into it. Great job. And the the biggest thing um, I was seeing this weekend, and like uh, I would say, like your performance was one of them. Um, Mouse had a lot of them. Uh, Rainy, like we talked mm-hmm. about, like that. That was a big um, the game. The game changers in the match. It was like uh-huh. people like the field was very dynamic and it was like who was gonna go out there and just like will will the win right like whatever it took and like how to get crafty and 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 who could figure out where you know where the gap was to get through Mm because there was a lot of gaps in the field if you know all the zones and switches weren't taken care of like when they needed to be um and and honestly that actually happened our first point against you guys like we we shot someone Mm -hmm. off the break um I, I think we were in good position um i believe oh i didn't play the first one but we had everyone looking like the, snake the same way and then they just opened up a hole and then you guys fell down the Rito side and that mm-hmm, was mm-hmm. you know it was like a big lapse that we talked about through all practice that was a you know an, you can't have those errors like. yeah but the, you know what the crazy thing about this field was and i think it was it's so funny because we talked about this this whole off season covid thing we've talked yeah. about field layouts and how easy they are to make like why isn't it why can't anybody make them and yeah. you saw everybody out here saw what it looked like when the pros made a field layout and it was not fantastic yeah yeah <laughs> yeah uh and then jason trozen comes out with this yeah. right and it was like a ma- you know a masterpiece it was yeah. it was a really good field layout yes and what was what was really cool about it is that a team that's like no one was ever in the driver's seat if you're yeah. up three yeah. zero that did not mean you're even coming close to winning yeah. this game yeah as a lot of you guys saw. And it wasn't like if you got to the 50 snake, you're winning the game. You're winning the game, yeah, right? Yeah. You can hunker down and, and vice versa. On there was either, a lot of checks and balances. Side. And and the crazy thing is, and for those of you guys who have yet to play the field or you still have events coming up that you're going to be playing this field, um, a lot of the times you can take a chance on one of those moves because every a lot of people are playing outside. The, yeah. I guarantee you if you look at the webcast, if we go through it again, you're going to see so many openings that oh, um, yeah. either one, you're like, Oh my god! I, this was it was wide open to run yeah. in the middle of the field right now. Nick told me that because uh, Nick, I actually sat like the first two points uh-huh. against you, and then uh, it switched like me and Nick okay. off and okay. me, and then Nick was like, "You're gonna see a couple of those points where you were like felt like you were trapped, but it was completely open." Uh-huh. And it was that was a, a tough thing. Someone also talked about um, Julian said the commentators were criticizing Marcelo for playing in the back in the can in the overtime game. Um, and Mar- Marcelo stopped Billy at the 50 snake. Uh, and that also, Marcelo was the one that got a shot on me. Yes. And we were about to yes. win that point. It yes. came down to Arturo and uh-huh. Mouse in the uh-huh. one-on-one. And I, I went on that, like, just a quick wrap, and Marcelo was just ready there with his first right ball. Right first, first ball. Um, but the, that can was kind of interesting because you – you could hold that middle alleyway, which was a mm-hmm. really important alleyway, just to make sure that someone didn't sneak in the snake. It also was 
one of the most powerful bunkers besides the middle to slow down the Dorito side. Yep. yep. But you also, at some point, you needed to give it up to to go and go and offense. help. Yep. Yeah. You know, whether it was the middle or to the snake. Uh, so that was uh, something too that for me I was like constantly um, trying to perfect, in, like and that was a struggle with like yeah, yeah like. Because then you, there was so many factors. It was like, is there a guy in the middle? Is there a guy on the Dorito side? Where's the guy in the snake? Do I need to get behind the snake? And, if and I if you're not here, looking at the snake and you're yeah. like, okay, I'm going to go. And you turn around, there's a dude wrapping the, that, wrapping the snake. Yeah. And you're like, I'm going to look this way. Or you're like, oh, I'm looking this way. And Yeah. Um, and that was also kind of good because uh, Marcelo and I switched up playing that position quite a bit. Like yeah. I would either be the, the one in front and go on the, down the snake, which I like doing. Yeah. Or I'd be on that cross and I'd hold for a while. Or I'd run up the middle, which... As the as the event got uh, drew drew uh, closer and closer to the end, yeah, I was just running up the middle pretty yeah, much every yeah. point. But yeah, that that spot was a really crucial spot, and 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 I don't know what the right move was going to be. Like so you did, he did point that out. Like Marcelo ended up saving it, being in that that yeah. spot. But yeah. you know, it's easy it's easy to see say now yeah that that's saying. that was the case. Like if yeah. you would if you instead of you coming out high yeah like that's the most dangerous place to come yeah. out of that of that snake right. Yeah. So you, at the very end, when you're when you're super fatigued and you come out of the and you're like, all right, I'm just gonna come, come around out this lazy. corner. Yeah. If you just gotten low, really yeah. low, and wrapped on the inside guys, and mm-hmm. then you got to our side and wrapped, he, there was no way he would yeah. stop yeah. you, you know. And it was the same thing with Billy. Billy was playing too high. Mm-hmm. Um, Any time that I came around that corner, I would be as low as possible using that. Lay yeah. Down. Using using the little W to yeah. block me out, or I'd line up because you can see the top of the the can. And I'd line it up, and then I'd just come up shooting right yeah, there. Yeah. So uh, I hate coming out of that because those the way those wedges are and the bricks also is like the corners are always like it's like bowed out slightly. Yeah, right? and you can't so place you, your feet. You can't place exactly. Time, so you're like leaning you're off leaning, balance. Leaning exactly. Yeah. yeah. So fighting out of those out of those bricks or the wedges, you just have that little bit. And I mean, I had to fight fight out of that stupid center brick for guys on both sides of the yeah, field, and I'm, yeah. just, I'm just shooting the hell out of like the stupid little ring that was right there. Yeah. The connector piece. It's like. It's so difficult to fight out of those. So I think if you were, if you or Billy were lower, yeah, you would have had you guys might have had a better yeah. chance because otherwise, because you can't hide from it. The can can only shoot that one portion. Yes, yeah, right. So and then I mean guys. I feel like everyone probably realized after like come finals time they're like, damn it, we should have just tried to sh- made sure to shoot Ryan off the break. Like that was, in, in that was something like we didn't do towards till towards the end of the match uh-huh. where I would go out like behind the God area yeah, in that blind zone and try to shoot you. Mm-hmm. I think we only shot you like you, once. You guys shot me once uh, uh, from that Revo, spot. Revo shot me once and then, and then X factor shot me once. But that was, I think that was probably the most important thing to, to winning, to beating you guys. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And that, that's actually something we, that we really, um, Oh, shout out to, uh, Jacob Cardiff. Thanks for the support, my man. Oh, do we get an air horn? Where's that? There it is. <laughs> uh, and loyal blue fox. Hold on, hold on. Where's the air horn? There it is. Thank you guys. Thank you, you know, guys. also something that uh, that we talked about, like I think on on Sunday or, or uh, late Saturday, was um, how Malloy mm-hmm. was. T- was like shooting. Oh like, yeah, we're trying to figure out how. What he yeah, was doing. he was like he was mm-hmm. shooting for the god cut and then like sidestepping mm-hmm. to safety mm-hmm. the corner. He, I, we going back and looking at it, he didn't, didn't like, shoot a lot of people. No, I did not like what he was doing. Um, but that if you guys uh, that are planning to play the field, um, maybe I mean there's a lot of stuff to dissect watching, but um, that was one kind of cool thing that, um, that he was doing. Um. Because I remember I asked you, too. I was like, what is he shooting? And you told me, actually. Yeah, yeah. Because I was telling our guys, because uh, we were watching the ML Kings, if you don't get right out onto the tape and you do this weird little hop, that's yeah. why the ML Kings and, and everybody who ran to the, the snake corner was making it. Like, yeah. We made it out to the snake corner against them a lot. Yeah. And if you can make it to the snake corner, it's a really, really strong spot to be in. Yeah. Really strong and position. You know what's... Uh, I, and Marcelo was doing that blind zone a lot. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in practice mm-hmm. uh, and I, I rarely did it at all uh-huh. and then that was actually what brought us back in yep. that damage match yep I saw that I because saw I, I did like two games in a row I like that they, spot because Brian was they were never putting anyone in the can shooting straight ahead mm-hmm. but even if they do though you still have that 50 wedge the inside one to block you out yeah. so you can choose to shoot at whoever you want yes yeah. That, that's why I, I love that outside blind spot I yeah love, I love that spot um, so it was uh, you know that's something you guys should look at if, if you're 
you know, playing a team that, that isn't going to that, that snake side can shooting straight ahead, uh, definitely want to exploit that zone. And it was, it was cool seeing, uh, some of that, that stuff start to, to open up later in the event. Cause you didn't see it very uh-huh. early. Yeah. And even like, uh, how the zones were like starting to switch, like more people later in the event were like, were finally like starting to shoot the middle. Cause like no one was like the can and the in the tower weren't really shooting we're in the really middle. Shooting the middle. We're trying to shoot the outside. They were getting so good at shooting the outside. People were scared to do it all the time to uh-huh. run wide. So you had more opportunity to risk giving up that outside shot and shooting back in the middle, uh-huh. which was kind of a cool uh, aspect. I thought how it switch. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Another thing that uh, I thought you guys did a really good job, um, and it was Dalton, and I'm sure you just you know through practice you saw, it, but. Um, and this is kind of how we beat Ironman. Like, Ironman were doing a really good job of sending LJ running and gunning up to that can mm-hmm. on the Dorito side, mm-hmm. that inset one. Mm-hmm. Um, so when we went out to play them, I just didn't even shoot for the runner, and I just shot for that that can. Over the top of the brick. Yeah, and then I when they started to run out, I was like, okay, they ran out twice. They, they're going to go back to the can. The can. So, um, But Dolan was running and diving. I saw yeah, it in practice yeah, on yeah, Thursday, and yeah. I was like, why is he, why he is just he running straight to that shoot? thing? Yeah, no way. But... Uh, you know, that was giving him survivability. And if you could get in there quick and go on the wrap, you could catch the can guy sometimes. Exactly. Or exactly. just... You can get in there faster. Plus, either if you don't shoot him, you can jump right the, in the Dorito the reason we The reason we were diving into that can, and, and I, that's something that, like, I, I'm, I'm a big proponent of arriving alive. Yeah. Because the big thing is, if you're running to a spot that doesn't really have any good shots off the break and you're running and shooting, then there's no point in running and shooting because you're a bigger target when you're running and shooting. That's yeah. like even running to that Dorito corner... The guys that were running and shooting got shot from far more often than the guys that just ran and dove. Like, oh, we just yeah. ran and dove. We never ran and shot off to that Dorito corner. Yeah. Not yeah. once. And I see a ton of teams shooting at it. And and when I was running up the middle, I never got shot by that guy. Yeah. I got shot by that that, that tower or mm-hmm. the can shooting yeah. straight over the top yeah. right there. Never the outside bodies running. And, and that, shooting. and you could probably attest to this too, like, as a guy that would play the can sometimes, mm-hmm. like, if someone was running and shooting to the snake corner versus just running, like as the gate starts, you can see that you person's see that, trajectory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if they're running, you're like, I don't know if he's going to go to the corner or the snake one. Let me just safety for like in front of the snake right. one. But if he came off the gate with his gun up, you immediately could uh, high probability of shoot that guy going to the corner because you know he's going to be tall. Um, so that was another another reason I was like, man, we should just run, be running out to that corner when we take that risk. Because if you uh-huh. go out there shooting, it's like, you have that tower shooting across, and that can guy can pick it up with enough time to shoot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the one benefit for running and shooting out there, if you're really on your, but you have to practice it enough, was um, uh, you can shoot that that can guy. Right? Yeah. Like so, because everybody is double stacking it, kind of one guy's off the back. Yeah. And that back guy is w- has a way bigger target. Yes. Actually, Marcelo got shot by a guy by Ant Tomaso running and shooting to the D three. I was shooting at the D3 oh, guy, wow. and Marcelo was stacked behind me shooting Snakeway, yeah. and a ball came over my shoulder and hit Marcelo. Wow. So he was running and shooting all the way across yeah. the field. Yeah, I got, uh, I think I got shot by Greg in our match. Uh-huh. Uh, I was shooting out on the snake side, and I was like pretty far out, and Greg was uh, running and shooting to the Dorito corner, and he got a ball on me. Yeah, yeah. So the the Russians, the Russians did a really good job with the running and shooting stuff too. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's such a tough shot, but I yeah, mean, yeah. If you're shooting back at that that can, that can's the most exposed. Yeah, because you're usually double stacking it. Yeah, I would go in there. Actually, I did get shot off the break once in our first match. I think, uh, randomly just over the top going yeah. to that can lazy. I guess. Yeah. Um. But but I, I I was saying it from the beginning that that we need to put pressure into the middle because mm-hmm. the middle was the guy when we played you guys in practice. That was the one who was shooting our god guy. Yes. We, we couldn't make it to the god, so yeah. we were forced to run wide. Yeah. Um, so we needed to put pressure on that center guy. Yeah. Uh, real quick, shout out to Mr. Contreras. Thanks for the donation. And I think that you were asking, um, oh, and Steve, Mr. Frazier. Um, Fernando, I think you were asking, uh, how do you join the channel? Um, there is right below our little beautiful faces and the description of what's going on the live from sunny san diego there is a uh, there's a subscribe button and a join button down there so if you're in full screen mode you might not be able to see it but if you minimize the screen there is a join button there uh so thanks for everybody who has joined the uh the show the show chris Today. soto to answer your question uh he said the counterpunch on the field seemed like it was a must and i definitely think like if a team was 
it had blown you your snake you side. You can, yeah, you cannot hold on this. Yeah, you, there's no holding. You and especially if you lost two guys, you mm-hmm. had to try to push it through mm-hmm. the other side of the field and potentially uh, that side of the field through the middle to counteract like going into their side brick to shoot. Like, say you're getting beat on the snake side. You know, like you did this a lot going in through using those pins yep. and then their brick uh-huh. to shoot that snake guy out. Yeah. Hopefully that alleviates and your guys are punching other ones. That, that saved us in the Russians game. That saved us in yeah. the, the very first point yeah. against uh, uh, X Factor. I think I shot you guys with that way too. Yeah. And it was like, you if you if you didn't do that, you were just wait, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. waiting. So And, and I, I did say that too. I was like, hey, if someone runs to the snake off the break or if they go into that, we were calling it the Sydney, that inside snake 50, if we saw him go in there and I was in the brick like and I missed him, yeah. I was just going to go. Yes. Right? Because yeah. you're going to catch that guy either calling back, which I did with Rainey um, on the second point we played. Mm-hmm. Uh, I saw him do the little broken arrow thing, so I went around the tape, and he was crawling. He was, like, backwards crawling like this. Yeah. And I shot him a couple of times, and then he does one of these and shoots me in the leg. Uh, and so I, I ripped him. But that's probably why he I, – I mean, I bonus balled him pretty good on that one. So yeah. that's why he shot me in the back a lot. <laughs> uh, shout out Joe Pike. Thank you, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. 20 more, twenty years, more World Cups, epic channel, best host in the game. Uh, yeah, move the tournament. Thanks, dude. They had, they couldn't, I couldn't take everything. <laughs> uh, gold Aculox or swag. Uh, yeah, you got, you got uh, the full Aculox kit coming. 16 inch tip, 14 inch tip, the whole deal. Shout out to Fort Key. Yeah, yeah. buddy. Arizona showing us some love right now. The Zonies, yeah. the Zony crew. Uh, I still have the smoke trout. Actually, I want to give a big shout out to Steve Segovia, who um, is also he's he's our he's our pit guy. You, you know, yeah, Steve. yeah. Um, he came and he gave me a can, like a like a like a professionally packaged can, from Alaska. And I was like, oh, cool, man. What's this? And he's like, smoked halibut. I caught it. Wow. And I was like, no way. So That's uh, awesome. he goes, you got to eat it with a little bit of mayonnaise. A little bit of uh, green onion. It's perfect. So that's actually, Steve, if you're watching this, I don't think he's in. I think he's driving home right now. But that um, we're, we're, we're eating that for Thanksgiving. There you go. That's going to be that's gonna be nice. a next week uh, special uh, personally caught, line caught, halibut smoked. There you go. I don't know how old it is, but it doesn't matter if it's in the can, right? Yeah. That's yeah. good forever. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. So hopefully, hopefully you guys are going to be uh, – you guys are going to be eating some smoked smoked fish. I, I think it's a great holiday little appetizer. Yeah. A little dill. There you go. You know, maybe we'll put a recipe together for next week. Uh, <laughs> Lawrence Gonzalez uh, has a good question. What do you think of the Wild Dogs? Dude. I, they impressed me. Yeah. I, I, They're my I, new favorite team. After I saw them on the uh, – after they're done with their prelims, I went up and I was like, dude, you guys did a really good job. Like, you should be – Dude. Give yourself a pat on the back. Yeah, absolutely. I think they played well. I think they were great sports about it, about yeah, everything. Yeah, like – They had great passion. They had a huge fan base. And oh, that's more than, did, right? more than anyone. I know. I know. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah. When, when everybody was – the fans were cheering, we were, yeah. we were losing. Yeah. A lot, um, of, lot of damage fans uh, <laughs> and Wild Dogs. Uh, so, Wild Dogs definitely impressed everybody. I and mean, they went – 2-0 against the Russians. Yeah, I First mean, two points. I was, uh, you know, no no offense to them, but I, I thought that it was going to be one of the things where they might not even win a point. Like I, the whole, me too. whole tournament. And those guys' gun skills were on, on point. point. It reminded me of, like, PPA Reno when we were yeah. playing in Europe. Like, yeah. they, those guys came out, like, they were... But their game plans were good, like, too. Yeah. Like, intensity yeah. the whole time. Caught people off guard, like... I think the only thing they were lacking was they just didn't know how to play the slow game a little bit. Right. Yeah. That was that was this field catered to them. Like yes. if they played a different game where it was where it was a, where there was a lot more. I mean, it's not like this this field was an easy field to play by any means. Yeah. But I think I mentioned it, and and, and this just goes without saying is like if you're the underdog, and you run to all the spots and you just relentlessly attack. Yeah. One then, the middle then, or the same. Yeah. Or someone, you're not going to be able to shoot people. everybody. Yeah, right. Yeah. And on this field in particular, it was easy to make all three front spots. Yeah. Like across the middle back corner yeah um and 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 they had good game plans they were doing a really really good job yeah of of all that uh shout out mr slarion uh mr Dizon. uh california teams winning all three divisions is that right i know that oh uh hunters oh hunters yeah hunters won. shout yeah. out to the the hunter let's give the hunters one of these they're on my flight back I think they only lost like four or five points the whole. Yeah, whole they're game. just dominating. Uh, I we were watching. And I was like, Dave, this is the uh, our coach, Dave Baines. I'm like, this is the team we always practice. And he's like, all right, let's see. And let's then see. you know, one five smoked, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. crush Smoked it. them down. So yeah, shout out to all the California teams for sure. Mr. Jeffrey Santo, thank you for the support. Uh, 
Thank for you for all, all we do for BKI. Yep, on and off. Low gravity team. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you, dude. Um, Appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah, oh, Jeff. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for thanks for tuning in. Go feed the kids. Um, I'm skipping out on those duties right now. Every, <laughs> every day, every every Monday from four to five, I always get the get the. Hey, are you doing your show again? Yep. Yeah. Every every uh, yeah, yeah. You know, like you know what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> so do something with uh with um with Sloan for now. Yeah. But uh, that's 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 exciting too. Oh, another cool announcement. Kyle and I are going to be on a game show. Oh yeah. Next week. Yeah. So is we that, is that next week? Yeah, it's on Wednesday. Next Wednesday? Yeah, it's the day before Thanksgiving. All right. Yeah. So yeah, it's, we're headed up to Los Angeles. Los Angeles. What's to, it called? Get a clue. It's, it's called Get a Clue. It's on the Game Show Network. It's yeah. I go. I've actually watched a couple episodes. It's not as easy as we think it is. Yeah. So we're gonna have to practice because we time. haven't practiced the, at all. Is it like just time? Is it? It's time. Well, some of the cl- the clues get progressively more difficult mm-hmm. as you as you score up the points. You know, so it's it's like catchphrase. So you, you're given a topic, right? So if it if it, if it, the 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 clue was ring, I would say uh, it's a circular object that you wear around one of your fingers. And you mm. say, ring. And like, yes. And then it would go to him, and he'd be like, uh, it's uh, it's what you it's what you draw with with ink inside of it pen you know and then we just kind of yeah. just bounce bounce back and forth but then it gets like progressively more difficult i saw some of them and you're like what I, th- I forgot what like euphoric was one of the questions oh, like, how do you describe euphoric yeah um or something you know and there there were some of the other ones that were so anyway first place is ten thousand dollars so uh Oh, and the other thing is, it looks really tacky. Like the, it's like an old, it's like an old uh, game show oh, yeah, uh, uh, setup. It, it looks like it was from the like from Family Feud. Yeah, yeah. What's that show with the uh, Drew Carey? That uh, whose line was it anyways? Whose line is it anyway? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. Uh, so that's what we're doing. We're doing that next. Uh, Jack Boyarski discounted merch perk. Oops, air horn. <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see here you guys have any other uh who else has got some questions julian espinosa in the middle he kept doing it point after point um so actually going down the center it's it's, it's interesting running running up the middle it, it wasn't as safe as it seemed and yeah anytime anybody else but me ran it they would get shot arturo got shot skemp got shot actually skemp ran it and the final point against one of our other matches that we yeah. had, I think, at the end on Rush against the Russians, but you know, some guys, if you're shooting for it, if you just have it, un- it's like a, a, there has to be the lucky ball, and the key is, and Marcelo taught me this, is you gotta like explode with the first three four steps so that you're in front of the can. Right? Yeah. You want to be in front of the can. Once yeah. you're in front of the can, you're probably not going to be shot. Yeah. And then um, you can get your shots. Then you can down. get your shots. But yeah. you, also, your goal is to try to shoot that guy diving into that little temple. Yeah. But yeah. so by the time you're passing the can, that guy's landing on the ground. So yeah. I had some success. I think I did shoot Mouse. Yeah. One time I did shoot Billy too, I think and so. I just yeah. didn't know uh, on both of those because everything blocks me out. Yeah. Uh, and then your your secondary goal is to watch the guy doing the broken arrow into that fifty. Yes. And I screwed that up a couple of times because when Actually, I think it was against you guys, and, and even when I came you, out, no, so, so it's you. You ran out. I, you ran out to the corner. Okay, I think or was it you or did Brandon Cornell ever play on that side? No, but um, who ran out to the corner, the snake corner for you guys? Uh, Mouse. Okay, so Mouse ran out to the corner, and then someone ran up and over. A Rod. A Rod. A Rod. Yeah. So I shot for the corner, and then I immediately think, okay, that guy's out there, and I can't stop him. Yeah. Let me see. And, I, and out of the corner of my eye, we shot your Dorito side off mm. the break. So I want to immediately like lock that down because in the very first point I did that and I shot Nick yes. on the fill and yeah. then I own that whole side. Yeah. Um, so like, I'm kind of like going up there watching both ways. And if you guys go wide over there, I go, ah, you know what? I, I'm not going to be able to catch the guy. Yeah. Cause I can't see him. Yeah. I'm going to switch this way and try to lock the guy going to the 50 Dorito, but then a rod sneaks through. Yeah. Um, so then you guys did it again later and I ended up shooting a rod. You got mm. the penalty. Mm. Cause I, cause I kind of, once you, once you realize what the, the move is, cause that's a smart move. You yeah. Bait, you bait the guns high. Yeah. And then the guy goes under yeah. low. And it was the same thing, like, if someone was going up to the middle shooting Torito side, mm-hmm. if you got, if you didn't have that can guy that was disciplined yep. enough to come back to the middle, mm-hmm. regardless if he thinks he shot the corner or not, mm-hmm. just to protect that, mm-hmm. then that was also, uh, right. you know. And that was a, a really scary thing to deal with for snake guys. If you weren't able to at least see that the guy got into that, he made that up and over move that mm-hmm. could cause your team a lot of trouble. Oh yeah, like, if you didn't see it, then you need at least minimum need to see it. 
Well, that's the thing about that is that's the only guy that can see. Well, actually, no, the can your spot can see it, and you did a good job because that's kind of what your goal was. Yeah, you weren't so wor- worried and focused about shooting the guy going wide as yeah. you were to get dominance heads up. Yeah, and then you can see that out route. Yeah, and, and I like that play also. And Marcelo did it against. I want to say it was it was on, I think it was against the Russians maybe, but. He missed, uh, or it might have been, uh, it was it was either the Russians or, or like someone, mm-hmm. the Animal Kings or something. Yeah. But he was doing that heads up shot, and he shot his mirror, but he he missed the guy going to the corner and didn't even see him go to the corner. Was oh, yelling, wow. like, oh, there's no one on this tape, and then the guy wrapped the corner and shot him. Yeah. Um. So it's like it's like where's your priority on those guns? Yeah. So in the finals, because I I ran from the middle almost every single point against sure. you guys. Yeah. Uh, and I knew that X Factor was waiting for it, so I would line up like I was going, and I came into the can, shot up the middle, out wide for Jesse Stevens, and then I wrapped inside really quick and released up. Yeah. So yeah. you, you got to be, you know, like... Switch it up. Yeah, yeah, switch it up. Otherwise, it's like, let's keep shooting for Ryan. Yeah. I mean, that's how, too, I would go up the middle a few mm-hmm. points, too, but just stay back and shoot for a second, and then release, like, once, if that guy passed, uh, past that can or got to the Dorito Aztec or the corner or something, mm-hmm. then I just had to release because you can't stop it uh, once he's out on the Dorito side from mm-hmm. that can. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, you kind of can. It's just you got to keep shooting through that, that yeah, one zone. It's, yeah. It sucks. Like, yeah. I, I and did especially that if you have two guys yeah, in, there. Two guys in there. Oh, yeah, if you have two guys in there. And that's what Marcelo hated the most. He's like, get out of here. I'm like, I'm holding it. Yeah. <laughs> get out of here. Yeah. Because <laughs> I really was fighting. We were really fighting on. Because we didn't want to, neither one of us really wanted to go up the middle. Yeah. You know, it's like, all right, let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you don't want your back to look like hamburger meat. Like Yeah. Um, Pakistani218, big fan. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Uh, his question is, hypothetically, if Ollie came back to Dynasty next year, would he be an asset or liability to Dynasty in 2021? Well, he would be uh, uh, a liability to my stress level <laughs> and the amount of gray hairs that I have on my head, but he would definitely be an asset to the team for sure. You yeah, know? yeah. Um, He's uh he's he's undeniably a fantastic paintball player and, and I think possibly even more now is more of a motivational guy. Yeah, he brings like, the best yeah, out of everyone. Yeah, Tyler Tyler's really stepped into the role there and, and been a huge huge uh, motivational teammate and and with with what is said is said and his energy you know looking into Tyler's eyes is is sometimes terrifying. Yeah, um, but but inspirational as well. You yeah, know? depending on what side you're at or what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what's your what the topic of the discussion is? Yeah, <laughs> at the time. Um, Tyler said, Kyle, do you have mixed feelings about playing close friends, winning, losing them, especially in big settings like cup? Do you try and game plan against Ryan in this case, knowing how he plays? Uh, I mean, you know, we've both been doing it for a while. And you, I mean, you even longer said you have lots of friends that have been on your uh-huh. team or not. So you definitely, uh, I mean, I think that comes with the, the sport that we play um, and many other sports, team sports as well. Um, but you definitely uh, try to focus on people's tendencies, you know, especially we practice against each other going into World Cup. Um, so you take into account, you know, what that person was doing. And then that's why it's really good, you know, especially uh, as you get deeper into a tournament. And usually it's the teams, the, the same you know, top eight teams that you're, mm-hmm. that you're playing. Um, so where it becomes really good, you're not just calling kills, you're calling who's a player yeah. that you, that you killed. So it's like, you know, if we, if we come out there and we shoot Ryan, we're like, you know, Hey, Ryan's off the field, you know, you have a opening, um, through the middle or whatnot, or like, mm-hmm. Hey, we've shot Arturo. Hey, we shot Mike Arena, the snake side's clear. Right. You know? Um, if you shoot Marcelo, you know, that can, that can is probably, probably open. Yeah. So yeah. that's a, a big thing that I know that, we both do uh, playing each other, you know, as well as like um, focusing on, on, on people's tendencies and, and how it's going to affect uh, your switches and how you adjust. Um, yeah. And, and to that, even in that final match, I was, we're still highly critical of everything we do. Right. So, yeah. So um, even, even in that final match, I was like, cause I shot, I had shot Billy a couple different times off the break, mm-hmm. but I didn't know. Yeah. I shot him going into that 50 inside snake. Yeah. But because of the way he walks out, I can't see him. Sure. And it was, and we yelled, we yelled a kill, but if you're in that center brick, I have no idea what's happening behind me. Yes. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, great. I just, I, it looked like I shot him, but I didn't see the ref do this. I didn't see him walk off. I heard a kill, but it wasn't kill one Billy. Yeah. Right. And that's such an important part of of the game right yeah. and even in that like i'm sure that everybody would have loved to hear like kill one ryan yeah right on the other team great yeah. that means that that the other team can be 
a little less stressed about someone coming up the middle, making some moves, uh, or or great, we killed Rainy. That's a that's a fantastic call. Yeah. Or kill an A Rod is great because now I know that you that center move. I don't have to worry about you guys someone like, getting coming crafty, through, yeah, getting crafty yeah. through the middle, right? I know that I can still get bunkered by somebody, but it's not gonna like they're not gonna come in here. They're not gonna finesse me out this yeah. way. Kill one Malloy is also a big big. Uh, uh, factor yeah um and, and a huge call so like calling the the kills from the positions uh which I, which is is uh, up for contention right now as far as marcelo their their petition to get rid of the god bunker they really do you hear that <laughs> no one so they want to get rid of the god bunker so the god bunker for everybody is is generally always been reserved for the bunker that's right behind the snake and yeah. that's been for more than 20 years that yeah, was even yeah. before when we were playing in the woods there was still a god bunker like, wow. that was that was it but now you're saying kill the god yeah. Where the god is really shootable. Oh yeah. So and, and they had an epiphany, Tyler and Marcelo, when they were when they were going to uh they were at seven eleven and, and Tyler was like, you know, I think the god is really shootable on this on this field, you know, like right now, like, I think we can really shoot the god and it just I guess the way that it comes out it's uh, doesn't sound you know, it's kind yeah. of a, not, yeah. not, a, not a um Yeah, so you, you get it, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're, we're then, so Marcelo and them are, are really petitioning to get rid of that call. He was trying to get rid of it. he was trying to make the call change. Mid tournament. Mid tournament. Uh, like, yeah. No, we're just yeah. gonna keep yeah. it that way. We'll switch right it now. after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and for those of you guys, Steve and uh, Mr. No Name, you guys are asking why I changed my gun out mid match. So I had broken paint in my loader, uh, and a lot of times if I got bunkered or I got shot in the back a bunch, it would break all the paint in my pods as well, and uh, I would try to swiftly have them all switched out. And I got bonus ball a lot by, especially by Revo and especially by Impact. Um, not by impact, by uh, Revo and, and X Factor. You guys didn't bonus ball me as much. Yeah. Um, thank you. But uh, <laughs> uh, but it, that's actually a really good tactic to to overshoot guys, especially in the packs, right? Uh, if the guys are turning points around, because yeah. I had to I had to, I had to pull all every single pot out yeah. every single time. Yeah. The paint's so brittle. So I had broken paint in my loader, and as soon as that happens, it gets into the breach, and I had an eye default with my regular gun, so I just grabbed it back up yeah, right away. Yeah. I, I don't have I don't have the time. I, I wasn't I was playing every point, so in order to, to keep that going, it's like I could squeegee this thing out pretty quickly, but I have to take the bolt out, and then I have to do this. I'm just, just give me a new gun. And especially with yeah. no split deck, the, right. sometimes you have like three to five minutes in between points where you could do that, but when it's that final match and you have two minutes strictly so. well even i mean especially on this field though because the points were going so quickly yeah that we weren't even two minutes was like a grace yeah like, that was a great yeah. if we had if we had two minutes i was stoked yeah right <clears throat> um where did that last one mr frederick stoob jensen all the way from copenhagen ducks yes thank you man um let's see here tyler took out the 50 which following up ourselves so julian uh let's see here julian you guys should have come out to the event by the way i thought you and uh the boy the old boy don were gonna donny boy we're gonna come out here um so let's see here why let's see in the early part of the game you were behind and then tyler took out the 50 which is why so yeah actually julian this is what we we're talking about in the beginning of the of the uh of the 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 webcast is that play that we had set up on that field in particular was a little different than the conventional play, mm -hmm. which was one guy out Dorito wide, two in the can, or one guy out snake side, two in the can, two on the Dorito side. We actually sent three on the Dorito side um, to put pressure up the middle a little bit, but even more is to really push that Dorito side a little bit more. So what happened was we lost Dalton, we lost Blake, and I think Meter just kind of went to sleep on that Dorito side. And then yeah. Tyler popped out of that Dorito three and shot Meter. Yep. And then Jesse Stevens ran to the Dorito corner and and only had four pods on him. So he was out of paint. And then I dove across in the 50. I shot uh, Woodley and then traded out with Rainey. Mm -hmm. So it was a two on three. And then Marcelo got that huge kill that we talked about. Yep. And then, but, but it was basically having that third body. And I guess Ryan Brand even said it. I, he said it to um, uh, Rusty. He goes, as soon as I saw that we shot both of your guys and I saw Tyler over there, I knew we'd lost the tournament. Wow. He's like, I knew it. Because because we they went to sleep on that third body. Yeah. And I mean, imagine if you're just if you give Tyler like anything, you know. So imagine if you're in that brick. I played that brick so many times. I hated yeah. it. Yeah. And you you're just looking at that little Dorito and you can't see anybody dive into it. That big Dorito three. Yeah. On, on the tape. Yeah. Uh, you can't. You can only see the outside. You can see high on the inside. But if someone slides into that and I'm posted, but if I'd shot two guys off this side already, I'm kind of be like wrapped big, thinking that there's nobody else on the wire and yeah. I have I have this whole I have the Comanche. Yeah. Right. I'm I'm holding this whole zone. And uh, if you someone pops out, boom. Yeah, that's a well, kill. Well, 
you guys also, um, and this was kind of on me too, talking about like it was hard to see the kill count. You guys um, mid match, I think it might have been like the fourth point or something. We were up uh, four bodies to your three. Mm -hmm. uh, you had got shot out of the middle like fairly mm -hmm. early, and it was um, Arturo and the God. Uh -huh. It was the point they came down to, to Mouse and Arturo. Right, right. Arturo and the God, Marcelo and the Can, and. I had heard a kill early, and then mm -hmm. I saw you and Blake walk off the field. So Brandon was asking me, hey, what's a kill count? I was like, I think it's just the can and the god left. And then as I'm sliding into the snake, I see Tyler. He was just, like, waiting quietly, quietly across the, the field. He was, at that point, I think he was maybe in Dorito 1 or okay, Dorito okay. 2. But I saw him. He didn't shoot me. And as, I'm, as he sees that I saw him, he switches, goes on the attack, and he was able to catch Brandon on the tape, who was rapping, who didn't think that guy was there. Mm -hmm. Caught Brandon, um, Marcelo had that nice shot on me, uh, and then I believe Tyler ended up shooting Trevor. We shoot uh, Marcelo, and then it came down to that one on one. And then Mouse also like didn't realize that Marcelo had got shot, so he kind of like thought it was a two on one. But um, yeah, and, and that that field in particular was really tough to to figure out what the count was. Yeah, like when because bombs would go off a lot. Yeah, yeah. Where guys would just be walking off, and you're like, uh, uh. Uh, yeah, you know, like that, that was kind of what had happened with the, that Revo, the second Revo point that I was telling you about, like, yeah. those guys just completely went to sleep on me and I just came around and shot everybody in the back. Like, yeah. Just cause they thought everybody was dead. You yeah. Know? So, um, and the way this field was playing. So like kudos to Tyler on that. A couple points were just like being alive and kind of just sitting there and mm -hmm. cause most people, mm -hmm. when they had three bodies left, they felt like I need to go to work. Like, and so they would give up their body because they're, they're shooting and they're trying to... If you're especially out on the Dorito side, you would try to win that regardless instead of just, like, maybe being patient and waiting. Right, right. Uh, so it would give that body away, and those four players would be able to figure it out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I thought that was a, a really good point by, by Tyler as well in that match, um, just to be patient. And just kind be of, patient. And actually, uh, LJ Woodley pulled a bunch of points off like that, too. Just being creepy over there, and not creepy. I guess that's kind of, <laughs> kind of a weird way to say it. Yeah, <laughs> sneaky, yeah. being sneaky, sneaky, sneaky over yeah. there. <laughs> little creep. Uh, no, being really sneaky over there and just kind of sliding off to that Dorito corner, waiting, and then rolling out on the tape and, and getting that getting that kill down the tape. Yeah, uh, on that Dorito side. So that was good. Yeah, shout out visiting, watching from Germany. What time is it out there in Germany? <clears throat> yeah, thanks, Dizon. That's a good call. We're at we're at ninety two likes right now, one hundred and sixty viewers. Uh, you guys are crushing it. We really appreciate the support. Uh, this is this is by far uh, by far our most viewed live show yeah, yeah. right now. We so one six so one. man, we're 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 pumped. So let's uh let's give some stuff away. If you guys have any questions, obviously throw those things out there for us. Uh, I've got a couple of rings to give away. Let's see here. And all you guys <laughs> asking about the egg, I'm a man of my word. That'll be next yeah. week. Um, <laughs> I will still eat the egg, so uh, we'll get that set up for you guys. So you'll have to come back. It uh, gives you a reason to come back next Monday um, and watch that go down. Yes, so yeah. you have to tune yeah. in next Monday because yeah. Kyle is going to eat a thousand-year-old egg. Yeah. Um, we we found one that was uh, was uh, planted in the ground was was put underground in 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 its uh in its resting place yeah. about nine hundred and ninety nine years ago. So it'll yeah. be it'll be ripe next week for uh -huh. a thousand years old. Mister D's on giveaway. All right, Dizon, let's give away. Uh, I'm gonna start with. <clears throat> I'm gonna start with this 20 year uh, anniversary shirt. I'm gonna give it away to one person in the chat. Okay, there's not gonna be trivia, nothing crazy. Uh, but what I do want you guys to do, really quickly, is this will be on this will be on behalf of uh, G2. All right. Um, just so you guys know, we haven't got the, given the G2 paintball plug yet, but we are trying to get G2 paintball on their Instagram up to 2,000 likes. And when they do, uh, G2 is going to be giving away a free entry and a hotel flight credit to one lucky viewer, and they're going to be able to go to the spring training event. <clears throat> and I'll tell you what, um, I hadn't done any of the G2 stuff. Until we went to to that Arizona Hell Week thing, and I think I told you about it. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I hated it. Yeah, but I'm paid gonna off. tell you, huh? Paid off. It paid off. Yeah, it paid off, man. Like we were, we were, did we, the were hard work. we were in shape. We did the hard work, and that's yeah. and that's what it was all about. <clears throat> um, Mr. Bo Roulette, this one's an XL, but I do have a large. So who whoever is gonna win this is either going to be a large or an extra large. 
hopefully. If you're a medium, then maybe just wash it in hot water and throw it in the dryer. There you go. That's what I like to do with all yeah. my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> or you use it as an undershirt to play in. Cause... Or an undershirt. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to give away the G2 shirt. I'm going to give away one of these Field One Hypercolor shirts for this episode. And T-shirt we... or long sleeve? Um, this is a T-shirt. 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 Hypercolor. When, uh, when it gets warm. <sighs> It turns white. Yeah. This is pretty cool. So the this lie is detector the same, shirt. The lie detector shirt you were talking about. It's, yeah. Um, either I'm lying or I'm extremely warm right now. Yeah. Uh, but this is the colors. This is the exact shirt that I'm wearing right this second. So uh, we'll give we'll give the the Field One T-shirt to a member. So you got to be a member of the channel. You'll get the Field One shirt. And one person uh, in the regular chat box room. Go ahead and give me, um, type in G2. Everybody type in G2 right now in the chat box if you guys are following G2's Instagram page. So as soon as you guys follow G2's Instagram page, type G2 into the chat. Uh, I'm going to give Mr. Peter uh, Moto Widlack. Moto Widlack? Moto Widlick. Peter Moto Widlack. I'm sorry, I just completely blew your name up. Uh, you're going to be getting a ring, so you just want a ring. <coughs> You got to uh, message me on Instagram or Facebook or email me or something like that. Let's see here. Who do you think? All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, I got a random winner for... All right, all you guys better be following G2 also. How many... Where are we at on the likes? How many likes do we have? Um, oh, no, that's not right. Yeah, that's 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 uh. Let me see. Oh yeah, big boost. Excellent. Thank you guys. We're at 1116. All we need is 884. Oh yeah, there we go. 108. More. 108 likes. on the likes. 108 on the likes. At 110, we're gonna give. We're gonna give the oh, uh, we, dynasty we shirt. It. We hit it. Yeah. 111. Okay. Winner of the dynasty 20 year shirt, Mr. John Theo. J O H N T H E O. John Theo. John Theo. Winner, 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 winner. Uh, you're going to win this shirt. It is the 20 year. So uh, if you win this shirt, go ahead and uh, <clears throat> shoot me a message on Instagram. Uh, you want to come up here, Slum? Come on. And we're, we're winding down here. Okay. Now we are going to give away this shirt and a sticker pack to uh, two different prizes to the members. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Oh, is that right? Is this a shirt? Do you want to say hi to everybody? <laughs> what are you eating? <laughs> okay. Let's see here. I am going to check out who we have in the members only do you want to find somebody who wants to win a uh, you can give someone anybody this thing yeah. you want to give it to do you want a ring yeah. there you go all right <laughs> so i'm going to choose right now a winner for the next two now this is going to be a members only giveaway and it's going to go to oh yeah dude you guys are crushing it thank you guys all so much um mr jacob cardiff Mr. Jacob Cardiff is the member's winner of the shirt. And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Can you say let's see? Uh, we are going to go with Mr. Can you say, can you say giveaway? That's yeah, close. Yeah. Giveaway. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Eric Fitzgerald is going to be winning the sticker pack. I see. Eric I see. Fitzgerald. I got a good one for this. Okay. A little quick trivia. Easy one. Oh my God. Ready? What was, and I actually don't know this, so you have to verify. What was Ryan's final kill count to win the Golden Barrel? First person to put it in gets the dynasty ring. Also, Mario Trujillo, send me your address because you won a ring last week. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
nope, 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 no, nope, no. nope. Not 112, I think that was close, though. G2 is not the answer. Nope, 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 wow, nope. I I no, no. Damn, no, no. Can you say no, 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 no. Say no, 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 no. Dude, 300. I was close to 300. What was it? Put it down so I can look back. <clears throat> no, no. Hey. Right there. Is that the I, first I, one I they see, got? I, I, I'm almost positive. Yeah, did you see that come in there? Yeah, they were flying in fast. They're flying in fast. Uh, let me double. I'm going to double this check. This one right here? Uh, it, was, it was Michael, right? Yeah. Michael Cruz. I'm pretty sure we got it. I think we have a winner. I'm gonna, I'm gonna we double. Say, we should say that you can only get one guess. I know. Next, okay, so next week we will. Yes. We'll, I do think though. I do. I was telling Kyle about this. So I, I think that the the winner. Um, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the stats right now just to double check. But I think. Whoa. What is that? You got two. Do you have two rings? Do you have two rings? Yep. Yep. Thank you. Okay, what is that, Michael? What? Hey, baby. Where was he again? Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Michael. Michael Cruz. Cruz. Uh, I'm was it I think it was higher up here. Yeah, it was Michael Cruz. Yeah. <laughs> no way. He put a lot of guesses. Yeah, he had a lot of guesses. He had a lot of guesses. Yeah. There we go, Michael Cruz, with your first guess. You got it. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, a thousand. For each year of the egg that didn't want to eat. Um, so 32, 34 was the answer. You're getting a ring. Thank you. Um, and then we gave away the shirt. <laughs> to this is the shirt to Mr. Jacob Cardiff. Uh, we've got Eric Fitzgerald is get, getting the uh, the sticker pack. Uh, Mario Trujillo, you won a ring last week. I still need your address, and I'm going to send those out to uh, to you guys. So the two ring winners are Michael Cruz and Peter Moto Widlek. Dude, I'm sorry, Peter. I just can't. Uh, I can't quite get that name. <laughs> uh, yeah, and also I do think we are going to do a BKI G2 clinic in Southern California. So do look out for that. We're trying to do a combine out here. Yeah, she's. You went down. Okay, but oh, you want to come with Dada? All right. So um, we will do that. Next week, we've got another great show, obviously. Obviously. Um, we'll, we'll do a little catchphrase. Camille's going to actually join us on the show because we're actually going to go to uh, Capital Edge Paintball this weekend for a uh, uh, their 16th birthday. Is it 16th? Does that sound right? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's their anniversary game. So any of you guys... Any of you guys uh, that are up in the Northern California, Sacramento, Northern California area, um, uh, I will see you guys at the big game. Sloan's going to be there. Are I you might excited? I might yeah. come out. Yes, Sloan's excited to go up there. Uh, Yosh will be there. Blake will be there. Kyle might be there. Camille's going to play. So this will be uh, your opportunity to shoot her for me. <laughs> I'll put a bounty on her head. Yeah? What is this? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Shout out to Fort Key. Shout out to everybody. Um, uh, Troy, you guys go. Oh, so yeah, we're not going to be at the seven year old. Or it's a seven year old. 13. The seven man. That's the 13, 13 year. year. So yeah, Dizon, maybe Dizon, are you going to be out there? Marcus, I think you're going to be there. Um, 13th year. Sorry, I was, I was close. Close. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. Um, so yeah, thank you, dude. The dragon is alive. Thank you, Gabe. Uh, thank you, everybody who tuned in. Let's see. What else do we got? We'll try to get you guys some new discount codes. For everybody who just joined on uh, today or just recently, I'll post in the community section of my channel. So just go to my uh, YouTube channel uh, by just clicking my little face down there on the bottom left. And I believe that there is a section that says community. And you'll get a little no notification, uh, maybe in your little notification section up on the top. And I will give you guys, um, I will give you guys uh, some discount codes. Some relevant dis discount codes. So spend uh, spend away. Have fun with that. Uh, yeah, and also thank you, Weberton, for, for reminding me of this. I want to shout out all of our pit crew. I know we talked about the pit crew just recently and how important that is. And Kyle did mention it. We had our pit crew on lock all weekend long. So um, they really helped out. Vic from G2 uh, organized a lot of that uh, along with Steve Segovia. Uh, Connor was there. Uh, we had we had, a, we had a pretty fantastic crew. Yeah, um, that's Dewey key. and Dan. Yeah. Came all the way from Chicago, and we had a fantastic dinner last night. There you go. Daddy, there we go. Dad. All 
All right. Well, hopefully Sloan doesn't eat all your guys' hey. rings, and I'll be able to. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Four key. Also, uh, answer your your question. Twenty twenty one predictions, player moves, team moves, rule changes. Uh, definitely, we will have some more information as the as the mm -hmm. weeks go on because that stuff starts to play out uh, right. pretty soon here. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. We'll we'll, we'll uh, let you know what what we mm -hmm. hear. So. And and you know we don't hold any secrets yeah. back. We're gonna drop as soon as Let's paintball TMZ over here. Yeah, as soon as, as soon as we get the news, we are sharing. Oh, don't eat that. Just spit it out. Uh okay. I gotta get this ring out of her mouth. <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs> See you next week with the egg. All right, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye bye. A ring. <laughs>